name is Jean Guchero. I'm an oil painter as well as a native of Colorado Springs. I was honored this month to be a featured artist for Squash Blossom. And so I'm sharing my aspens, uh, some of my florals, a lot of the landscapes, and some of my wildlife portraits that I do. My background is in engineering and I worked for high tech here in Colorado Springs for many years. And I was always a creative person growing up. I would either be writing or coloring or painting around the house when I wasn't out riding my bike or doing some sort of athletic activity. So once I effectively retired from engineering, I was able to immerse myself in art. So I actually started with Chris Alvarez, who's a very famous uh, local artist, and he was wonderful. I took both figure drawing as well as oil painting from him. And um, actually you can see some of, some of the aspects from uh, training um, under him. Specifically, one of the things that I always appreciated about Chris Alvarez that I tried to put into my work is the looseness. And he would just capture capture the feeling of what he was seeing with just a stroke. And that's what I try to do. Uh, a second teacher that I had here in Colorado Springs is a wonderful Brett Andrews. And he was part of Modbo and currently SBQR in Colorado Springs. And Brett was classically trained. And what he challenged me to do is make sure that I was faithful to the color that I was observing, as well as faithful in rendering the shapes. And so I think you see that when you look at some of my wildlife pictures. Um, he would also challenge me, like in this, the color, um, how the color uh, is effectively rendered of the sky that day. It might have been a little bit cloudy, but as we all know, when you reflect into the water, it's always a deeper color. I took classes with both of these artists for effectively six to seven years. And um, from them, I think I developed my own style. It's kind of a combination of both. The goal was capturing a lot of color, capturing the pattern, and then just making sure that I render it well enough that someone else will recognize what the heck I put on the canvas and uh, but still make the subject matter um, make make what I'm doing mine and my goal is always to try to go beyond what you would see in a photo because I really am trying to capture the feeling.